Simplifying success. JEE Main and Advance. Radiance. Authenticity of results is the power of radiance. Radiance. In March 2013, I found out that I got into MIT. Well, I, I studied from the from from the fifth standard. I've been into programming a lot. Uh, I discovered uh, basic. I first learned basic in my fifth standard, and. Uh, with, with each year, I, uh, I began learning more languages, there's uh, Visual Basic, C++, .NET, and I uh, did the Microsoft Certified Professional Certificate in 8th class. After learning programming, uh, after the 8th standard, I began doing software development at Freelancer.in, and I even began earning some money by, uh, by developing software for other clients. Also, in my 12th standard, I found out that uh, I, I was the first in the international level in the National Cyber Olympiad organized by the Science Olympiad Foundation. I joined Radiance two-year program in 2011. I, also was doing, uh, I was also attending the school which required full attendance. So uh, what, I, what I did was actually that uh, I did all my schoolwork in the school, never, never brought any schoolwork to home, uh, completed everything at school. And at home, I, I only studied for the IITs. Uh, it was beneficial for uh, since it was three days a week, so uh, I can you know learn for, for, for the other three days, for the other remaining three days. And uh, of course, it helped me a lot uh, because uh, uh, what what you are not uh, taught now, because uh, the, the syllabus in IIT is, is actually very advanced. So uh, Radiance helped me a lot. Admissions into the United States is very tough. There are two exams. One is the SAT and the other is the TOEFL. Both of the exams require a passport as an identification, so that is a must. SAT is offered two times for, as a SAT 1 and SAT 2 and both are required. SAT 1 has English, mean English and uh, a bit of mathematics. The English is actually of high level, so you need to study for that. And uh, for the mathematics, it's, 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 very, uh, it's very easy, so uh, no preparation is required for the mathematics. The SAT 2 has subject tests in physics, chemistry and mathematics. SAT 2 again requires two subjects, one is mathematics and second is the science subject either from physics or chemistry. SAT 1 is out of 2400 score and SAT 2 each subject is 800. So uh, mathematics would be 800 and any science subject would be 800, both physics or chemistry, any, uh, you can take any one. The test for TOEFL was a bit easier than SAT, the English was a bit easier. I used the book of Barron's for TOEFL for preparation. For SAT, I used uh, the, only the internet to prepare it. Uh, I used the website memrise.com because uh, for the SAT vocabulary, uh, you, you need to you know uh, you need to prepare for SAT. Uh, I think to six or seven months uh, preparing all the vocabulary because it's really tough. After you give both the exams, SAT and TOEFL, uh, the scores would be out. SAT uh, exams happen. Uh, uh, what I would advise is. Uh, having SAT exams in October, November and December, any, any two months you can choose for SAT 1 and one for SAT 2. And for TOEFL, it's, uh, uh, it's given many a times in the year, so you can give any time, uh, preferably in, in the end of the week, uh, end of the year, since uh, most of the syllabus has been done. After receiving scores of TOEFL and SAT, you need to start applying to universities. Now you need to be very careful while choosing which universities you are applying. You, uh, you need to see uh, uh, what's the uh, uh, what's the SAT statistics for the SAT score versus the university rankings and all. So you first need to choose which universities you need to apply. Uh, you should apply at least four universities, according to me. There is a website called the Common Application. So uh, you go to the Common Application website, register for it, uh, register there and then you uh, search for colleges and select them. For each college, there is a fee of uh, about $80 for each college. So you need to pay it separately for all the colleges you're applying. And uh, what I recommend is, at uh, uh, is obviously at least four colleges. Applying to colleges requires not only academic qualifications, but also non-academic qualifications. In addition to that, the common application will also ask you for your life stories, uh, questions like uh, how do you cope up with uh, mistakes and all that. So you really need to show uh, as a person who you are into the essays which you write in the application. For applying to the top universities like Harvard, MIT or Stanford, 
only the SAT score doesn't matter. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't actually. Uh, if you got, if you get a twenty-four out of hundred out of twenty-four hundred in SAT one, it still doesn't mean you'll get into MIT or Harvard. The thing which matters is all the extracurricular achievements, all the achievements in your academic plus non-academic side. Everything matters. Along with it, if you have recommendations for professors and teachers from uh, high institute for high level institutions, that is a major plus point. So, if you have all these, then also, then only you should go for top universities like uh, in the top ten. Otherwise, you can apply till. Uh, uh, otherwise, you can apply for other universities too. A score above two thousand or and uh, uh, above twenty twenty one hundred two thousand is a good SAT one score uh, according to me. And for TOEFL, I think it's above 105, uh, the TOEFL score would be nice.